Welcome to this special edition tutorial for Seek Your Course. In this tutorial I'll show you how to craft a fun postcard. We need a piece of watercolor paper or cardboard. You can get them pre-printed as a postcard on the back. But you can also easily craft one yourself by cutting a sheet of watercolor paper into postcard size. We also need a pencil and eraser, fine liner, watercolors, a brush and water. There are many types of watercolor sets like this Van Gogh box. But you can use a simple set you might already have at home, like these. In this tutorial I'm using a cheap set to demonstrate you don't need to buy expensive stuff to have some fun. We start by making the background. Choose a color that you like and that will fit your illustration. I'm using a lot of water because I want a splashy effect. Now this is the fun part. This is the real splashing. Don't be too careful. Just play around and mess around a bit. I always like to sprinkle some extra color over it as well. Then I'm lifting up the card and let the drips bleed down. I blow a bit to push the drops in the right direction. And then let it dry. Once dried, I can pencil in my drawing and write my message in a nice hand lettering. In a bit I'll show you other options too. When I'm happy with my design, I use a fine liner to finish it. And then all I need to do is erase the pencil lines. Now what if you don't have a very nice handwriting? Well, I have a solution for that. You can buy letter templates. They're super easy to use and you can make your message look neat and pretty. They're not expensive and usually you can find them in toy stores, dollar shops or in art supply shops. In a bit I'll show you another option for your lettering. You already know the drill for this bit. And then for the last part we will be using letter stamps. I found these in a craft shop. Well, I don't think I need to explain how to use rubber stamps. So here you go, you have three examples of crafting your own postcard. Have fun! Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more, you can have a look at my website, koshikuna.nl.